to our ABC News exclusive interview with ousted former Penn State President Graham Spanier. Speaking out for the first time on camera since a scathing report in July that accused him of covering up the Jerry Sandusky sex abuse scandal. You see there Josh, he had a chance to sit down with him Wednesday for a very extensive interview. One in which Josh, he defended himself feeling that the report was full of errors? Full of errors and really uh, an incorrect assessment of both his actions and really inaction uh, throughout uh, this period. Graham Spanier, a man, if nothing else, actually trying to defend his honor and rehabilitate his reputation after being forced to resign as Penn State's president and then sitting silently by during Sandusky's trial. And I can tell you, he and his battery of lawyers aren't giving an inch. The conclusions in that report that, that, that in effect we conspired to conceal a known child predator are just incorrect. Graham Spanier wants his reputation back and he's breaking his silence now, blasting former FBI director Louis Free, calling Free's report into the Jerry Sandusky sex abuse scandal a myth. I don't feel I need exoneration because I know what I know, I know what I did. Spanier says he didn't cover up years of allegations against Sandusky. In fact, he says he couldn't have because he too was a victim of abuse at the hands of his father. He was very abusive towards me and I've never met anyone who has had a, a higher level of awareness about such issues than, than I have had. Shouldn't that then also hold you to a higher standard? Absolutely. But Free's report says Spanier didn't hold himself to that higher standard, citing a series of ignored emails and missed red flags. Never did I ever receive a report that Jerry Sandusky was engaged in child abuse, a sexual act. Critics disagree. They say in 2001, Spanier should have gone to police after learning Sandusky had been spotted showering with a boy in a football locker room. Instead, Spanier agreed to let Penn State's athletic director tell Sandusky, in Spanier's words, to knock it off. But Spanier says he was only told the incident involved horseplay. I guess I was thinking back to my own childhood where horseplay involved throwing water around, snapping towels. I didn't ask about it, but that's what I was conjuring up. Didn't you have a moral obligation to find out who that child was and find out what happened? At the time when I heard the term horseplay and asked if there was anything more than that, and the answer was no, I didn't think of, uh, of anything more than that. Unlike the two administrators who reported that incident to him, Spanier is not charged with a crime. Still, he says he's been unfairly indicted by the media and by that independent report, which says he failed to stop a predator. I didn't know Jerry Sandusky. I've only had one conversation with him in my life. He was a child predator who fooled a lot of people. People have to know me and what I stand for. That's what I hope people will, will pay attention to and believe what I've said. Those two administrators, Tim Curley, the former athletic director, and Gary Schultz, a senior university official and really two trusted lieutenants of Spaniards. Now, yesterday, again, steadfastly, repeatedly, Robin and George refused to accept the notion of even being culpable for his ignorance. And we also did reach out and a spokesman for Free Sporkin and Sullivan said of their report, we stand by its accuracy. Mm -hmm. oh, Quite a report. OK, Josh, thanks very much.